Hello viewers, uh, this lecture is about protocols, everything about it. There would be a series of lectures regarding the protocols and I need you to watch all these lectures. So uh, the basic definition of a protocol is simple. It is a set of rules. So what do these rules relate to? Before answering, it should be understood that uh, we often talk about a protocol when we are referring to a protocol suite which contains more than one individual protocol. Uh, the complexity of uh, networking requires many individual protocols. A further complication is that there might be a number of different versions of a protocol. Finally, there are often protocols that can be used to uh, complement the use of another protocol. Uh, a set of rules that constitute uh, a protocol must be agreed between the sender and the receiver for any communication transmitted over a network. At the simplest level, a protocol could define that a positive uh, voltage represents a bit with value 1. A protocol might define a transmission speed that a sender must not exceed. Many of the rules relate to the format of uh, a message or of a component of message. For example, a definition of the format uh, of the first uh, 40 bytes uh, in a packet. So now what is the need of uh, protocols? Uh, when communicating over the networks, it is essentially, uh, it is, um, essential that some form of the protocol is used by the sender and receiver of the data. Both parties need to agree uh, the protocol being used to ensure successful communication takes place. Uh, previously in another lecture uh, I discussed the parity in AS. Uh, Parity uh, as uh, checking as a way of determining whether the data was transmitted correctly or not. With this method, it was essential to agree the protocol, even or odd parity. Without agreeing this protocol, it would be impossible to use parity checking. Many different protocols exist since there are several activities taking place over the internet. A protocol stack. For a protocol suite, the protocols can be viewed as uh, layers within a protocol stack. There are a number of aspects relating to this concept. Each layer can only accept input from the next higher layer or the next lower layer. There is a defined interface uh, between adjacent layers which constitutes uh, the only interaction allowed between the layers. A layer is uh, serviced by the action of the lower layers. With the possible exception of the lowest layer, the functioning of the layer is created by installed software. A layer may comprise sub-layers. Any user interaction will take place using protocols associated with the highest level layer in the stack. Any direct access to hardware is confined to the lowest layer in a stack. So that's about it. Uh, the information on the introduction of the protocols. Watch uh, uh, lecture after this lecture for the TCP IP protocol suite. Thank you very much.